All right, so. So, uh, let's say we're in the scenario where I'm tussling with my opponent. So let's say we have Tyler and Sleep, right? And um, I just cannot break this grip, right? So grab the super I'm taking the death grip, right? I can maybe break the sleeve grip, but I'm trying to do all this. It's just not fun. Might be stiff arming me really hard. So let's say you stiff arm me. So it's like I can I just maybe can't get around this thing. So what I'm gonna do, uh, and again. This is predicated on a super strong grip, so if they let go, this is not a thing to just like chase. This is a thing to just, this, I think its best application is facilitating further transitions, i.e. if I go for this and he lets go of my collar, then I can transition to something a little bit more, you know, fundamental. But this is a pretty cool trick you can use with people, just to get them to move, and sometimes it works really well. So if he's got this grip really strong, I can't break his down, like I can't break his grip. So what I'm gonna do, Pause, take my cable grip right at the hinge of the elbow. My goal is to chop his elbow and bring this to my chest, okay? So this, that's the first thing that's happening. The second thing that's happening is there. Chop the elbow. I'm going to step back. And the third thing that's happening is I'm going to bring his elbow to the floor. So you're going to get dragged basically snap it together. So I'm here. He's kind of keeping me away, whatever it is, or I just can't break the grip. Yep. I pull him right in the back. It's a pretty stupid, simple move. If he's not stiff arming and he just has a really tight grip, I'd like this is just like break here right away. Not super comfortable either. So again, really stupid. I think we talked about this one too. Uh, so again, if he has a collar, and again, if I go here and I'm doing this and he lets go, okay, cool. Like now, I go in, I do my stuff. But basic gym. So can I grab you for that one time? Really stupid simple. He has a collar, right? I can't break the grip for whatever reason, so I'm going to find that hinge of the elbow and I want to club it. I'm going to club the elbow. I'm going to club the elbow while I wrap, give a round of applause. That's the first thing that's happening. I'm sucking it into my chest. Close, stepping back, and bringing it to the mat. And again, in a sport context, if we're training with our training partners that we that we care about and we want to also help improve, we do this respectfully. If you do this in a tournament and you feel like it's there, you're just like, and you maybe take their shoulder with you, but you know they shouldn't grab you that hard. So uh, one more time, he has the collar. I'm going, clubbing at the elbow, pulling his arm in, stepping back, and snapping the elbow down to the floor. Get my knock that makes sense, guys? Cool. We'll partner up, work out. One, two, three.